hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today i'm gonna be doing nine things that a freshman in high school well incoming freshman in high school should know um i know that these videos are kind of popular because when i was going into high school i used to um search for videos like this just to get tips and stuff because i was scared like oh my god i'm going to high school it's something new and i know a lot of people feel that way so here's some tips to help you guys out as a freshman so the first thing is stay away from the juniors and seniors everybody says that but it's honestly because you are so young and they are so older than you that sometimes a lot of younger like teenagers get brainwashed and just like just stay away just stay away from them that's it don't do that to yourself tip number two you only need a five subject notebook you don't need two binders you don't need three binders you don't need five notebooks just get a five subject notebook and a pack of pens a pack of pencils make sure you have some headphones too because just have them headphones number three freshman friday if you don't know what freshman friday is it's basically a myth because in my high school i've never seen it happen it never happened to me it didn't happen to anybody that i knew that was a freshman but basically what it is is they say if you're a freshman on friday when you get out of school you will get beat up but honestly i've never seen it happen and maybe it happens in your high school but it didn't happen in mine but just be careful be ready to <laughs> feel number four make sure that you set your schedule as your lock screen because you're going into a new school it's a new building it's a new environment for you so you're not gonna memorize your schedule on the first day of school so you're gonna want to make it as your screensaver so that when you are going to your class all you have to do is look at your phone and look at the class number the time and the teacher so then that way you can know where to go but if you don't set it as your lock screen and your schedule is in your book bag you're gonna have to take your book bag off take the schedule out look at it then find it and it's kind of embarrassing like walking around with a schedule in your hand it, it just points you out that you're a freshman so just put it as your lock screen and then that way you won't have any problems and you could just go straight to your class and be on time okay be on time number five please know that all the friends that you made freshman year sophomore year junior year they're not going to be your friends senior year my freshman year i started off with so many friends by my senior year i only had literally i could count on my fingers so the friends that you start off with freshman year most likely aren't going to be the same friends that you have senior year a few of them might stick by but a few of them are just going to go their own ways and that's okay because everybody grows everybody goes separate you go your own ways and that's just life but just make sure that you have that in your mind the same people that you're friends with freshman year you're not going to be friends with senior year number six um the most important year for you is your sophomore year so your sophomore year is the most important because when you go to apply to colleges they look at your sophomore year grades so if your sophomore year grades is bad you might have a bad outcome when you're applying to colleges and honestly, my sophomore year, I felt like was the hardest for me. My sophomore year and my junior year, because I was just going through things and I stopped caring about school. I didn't want to go anymore. My grades were going down. I would get to school late, like every day. But honestly, just stay focused on your in your sophomore year because that's the most important year and colleges are going to look at that. So just make sure that you what's that word you stay on track sis number seven bring snacks have breakfast 
if you don't eat school lunch, which me, I'm, I hate school lunch. I never wanted to eat it. it. Just, I don't know. It just wasn't for me. So what I would do is in the morning, I would get breakfast. I would usually get like a Snapple and a croissant and then some chips for my snack later on throughout the day when I was hungry. But just bring snacks with you. You can bring like little water bottles, little fruit snacks cheese sticks for your breakfast anything just bring a type of snack because if you don't eat and uh, what's that word called yo i'm having brain farts if you don't eat and you don't give your body the right amount of nutrients you're gonna be sleeping throughout your classes and that used to be me because at first I never used to bring snacks. I never used to eat breakfast in the morning and I would be sleeping every single class. And my teachers would be like, are you okay? Like you're always sleeping. And I was like, cause I'm tired, but that's cause I never used to eat. So make sure you eat and you bring snacks because if you don't, you're going to be sleeping like me. And that's not okay. number eight. Mind your business. Like honestly, there's going to be a lot of drama in high school you're gonna deal with a lot of things and it's not even it's probably not even gonna be because of the people you hang out with but it's just you're in high school it's a different environment a lot of people are just gonna be talking and have opinion on things and you're gonna hear a lot of rumors and just don't even pay any mind to them because honestly everybody talks everybody talks so just mind your business and just focus on yourself because if you wander around just listening to everybody's business and you say something then it goes to this other person then it goes to another person you just got yourself into like a big situation for no reason so just mind your business to be honest because it's not even worth your time number nine make sure you have a portable charger and a pair of headphones because Let's say you go to the library and you just want to put your music on and do your homework or whatever. You need headphones because you don't want to hear any distractions around you. And if you're in class and you're a badass and you pull out your phone and you're using it during class, by the end of your last period, your phone is going to be dead. So if you have a portable charger before it dies, you can charge it. But I honestly used to do that and that it's not okay because you're not paying attention in class but honestly i was so over school that it really didn't matter to me but just make sure you have a portable charger and headphones and when you do pull them out and just be like keeping up with sam told me to do this peace just be a bad a badass that's it oh my god i know i, I said only nine things but i just have to include this too please please i am begging you please do not sag your book bag please oh my god yo that shit is such a pet peeve like i'm gonna show you guys what i mean by sagging when i say please don't sag your book bag i mean like this like please do not put the straps all the way at the end and walk around with your book bag like this full of stuff like full like this please please don't do that please please like oh my god just listen to me and don't do that like everybody is gonna know you're a freshman and everything's gonna be pointed at you so please just take my advice and do not put your book bag on like that anyways that is the end of my video so i hope that these nine well ten tips um help you in your incoming freshman year and i know because of corona um you might not go back to like school school but you're gonna have school online so you really won't have to worry about that but if you're in a different state and you actually are going back to school just take my tips and take my advice because you want to be a cool freshman you don't want to be a freshman that everybody's you know like you don't want to be that freshman so just take my advice listen to me and you should be so fine. thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe press the bell notification so you can get notified every time that i post and make sure to leave me video suggestions in the comments below so bye guys